So I'm a big fan, actually, of ancient Egypt. It's a really interesting uh, culture and one of the longest lasting, if not the longest lasting empire uh, that ever existed. Netflix is bringing out a show uh, about Cleopatra, who was the last uh, queen of Egypt, and it's causing some controversy. If you want to watch this uh, trailer, you can probably guess why. There was a time long ago when women ruled with unparalleled power as warriors, queens, mothers of nations. And there is none among them more iconic than Cleopatra. I would die for Egypt. What would you die for? I am Isis. I am a god. As long as she's alive, she is the pharaoh. My father's will names me co-ruler of Egypt. Julius Caesar is aware that Cleopatra is one of the best educated women in the Mediterranean. He wants to be king to Cleopatra's queen. There is no future without the past. She was using these relationships with Mark Antony to protect herself and her country. There is no Rome without Egypt. Cleopatra was trying to save the country that she loved from destruction. I did what I had to do to protect what is mine. This is a woman exercising power. Cleopatra was a Ptolemaic ruler. The very first Ptolemy is a general of Alexander the Great. It's possible that she was an Egyptian. I imagine her to have curly hair like me and a similar skin color. I remember my grandmother saying to me, I don't care what they tell you in school, Cleopatra was black. She has become an icon. I am a god, queen of kings. Her story resonates with every woman. <laughs> All right. So, so two things uh, were untrue about that. I mean, some of it was very interesting. Uh, one is Cleopatra as a swordswoman. Uh, that's nonsense. Uh, she used uh, typical feminine wiles to maintain her uh, power Frank. in the face of being becoming a client state of Rome, which is what Egypt was at that point. And she wasn't black. And you ain't black. Uh, she wasn't black. Now, there's, there's actually, you know, what, what's so uh, sad about that is that apparently the way this works is interviews, as you could see, with scholars and then actors playing the parts, and they chose a, a black woman to play Cleopatra. What? Among sco real scholars, scholars who are not politicized, uh, there's not much uh, argument about this. She was one of the Ptolemies. She was a daughter of the uh, Ptolemy the Twelfth, I think it was, and. Uh, the Ptolemies were Greek. They were Macedonians. Uh, they were part of, uh, you know, Alexander the Great's uh, conquest of the world. And uh, he left behind, that. you know, that's why they were living in Alexandria, which was basically, uh, there were three sectors of Alexandria. There was the uh, Egyptian sector and the Jewish sector, a lot of Jews in Alexandria, because that's where the books were. <laughs> And the Greeks, uh, obviously, the uh, the Macedonian Greeks were there as well. Um, they there's a little bit of wiggle room. So she was Greek. There was a little bit of wiggle room because they don't really know who her mother was. But her mother almost certainly was either uh, Greek or Egyptian. They say she might have had some Iranian blood. But here's the other part, and this is going to be uh, controversial, but it's just true. The Egyptians weren't black either. How can you say that? I know that Egypt is in Africa, but the Egyptians were not black. Uh, and the reason we know this, if you look at their statues, they colored and painted some of their statues. They weren't painted black. They colored the skins uh, of the pictures of them on the walls of tombs that we're uh, familiar with. Most of them are kind of reddish, uh, you know, looking like pretty much my color, probably swarthy, uh, but they weren't black. And we also know that they painted the Nubians, who were, in fact, black Africans, and they painted them as black people. And so we know uh, that they were not painting themselves in the, as the same color uh, as the Nubians. We don't make mistakes. We have happy accidents. It's also the lie about the sword fighting is kind of a shame as well because uh, her she really was a, a remarkable woman, Cleopatra. At this point, what what happened was Egypt had become the big power, uh, but they were kind of slobs. You know, they're kind of like the Americans after the Greek. If the Greeks were the British, who were sophisticated and cultured and educated, they, the Romans were Americans. They were garish and uh, mm. you know not as cultured as the Greeks. And the Egyptians, who had been around forever, they had been around for thousands and thousands of years. 
and you know, Alexandria had the great library and all this stuff. You know, they 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 considered themselves really upper class, but they had to deal. They had to be protected by the Romans, and the Romans needed their grain, uh, and so that's one of the reasons that the Romans dealt with the Egyptians. Uh, on, on top of which, when uh, Julius Caesar came to Egypt to see who was going to secede, they were, you know, Cleopatra had a brother, and they locked her out of the room, and she had herself smuggled into the room with Caesar uh, in a carpet. And they became lovers, and so she became queen. That's how that went on. And bore, she bore his children. And there's some evidence, or at least some thought, that one of the reasons that Julius Caesar was uh, assassinated was not just because he wanted to become emperor, but because he wanted to become emperor in the Egyptian sense of being a god. Because Cleopatra thought that, as, like any pharaoh, she was a goddess, she was the goddess Isis. And the more she became convinced that she was Isis and that there were these corollaries between, there actually were corollaries between her life and the life of Isis and the myths of Isis, there may have been come to Caesar the idea that, yeah, this being a god thing isn't so bad. And the Egyptians who were still thinking of themselves as a republic at that point uh, were not in the mood to have a god king, so he was killed. Uh, so she may have gotten him killed. And then, as the documentary said, uh, she then seduced Antony to the point where when she left the, the Battle of Actium, where he was fighting for control of Rome, he followed her and ran away and was basically condemned as a coward. Awkward. You know, if you want to see uh, an actually kind of entertaining movie, it's it's sometimes panned, but it's actually the good movie. It's Cleopatra with Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton, which was kind of buried under their passionate love affair. Uh, but it's actually quite an accurate story, and she probably looked a little bit more like Elizabeth Taylor, who was Jewish. So she probably looked a little bit more like that. Why not tell the truth? Well, the reason is, is blacks, I think, feel uh, desperate to have some kind of historical impact. And what I would say to them is start now. Start now by educating your children. Start now by uh, keeping your marriages together so that your kids can become important parts of the American empire, which I'm sure uh, they will if you educate them and raise them well. You know, there's nothing keeping you from making history tomorrow, but to say that you made history in the past when you didn't is to build your future on a lie, and that usually doesn't turn out very well. Uh, so I won't be watching this. I don't need to see, uh, you know, a politically correct Cleopatra. It's it's very frustrating. They did this to Gal Gadot, too. She's an Israeli, and they said she shouldn't play Cleopatra, but that's probably uh, what Cleopatra looked like, although Gal Gadot is uh, probably a lot better looking. She was Cleopatra was famously not that attractive, uh, but she must have been sexy as hell because the men uh, sure fell for her. Ooh, a lot of floor work. It's really a shame. I mean, history is so interesting on its own that to lie about it for politically correct reasons is stupid. The Egyptians weren't black. Cleopatra wasn't black. Too bad. Too bad. You want to make history? Start now. If you'd like to sleep with Cleopatra, like and subscribe. No, that won't work. But you will get more uh, great content like this. And you can like and subscribe to The Andrew Clavin Show wherever you get your podcasts.